it. So what sports did you play though? Because obviously um, it's a massive part of your life now, but what, what were you playing then? Uh, well, cricket was always always my number one sport. Um, my, my dad was a good cricketer. My granddad was also a good cricketer back in the day. Um, and so you know, I grew up playing all the backyard cricket and everything like that. Um, joined a joined joined a ladies cricket club in Melbourne when I was about 12 um, and yeah I mean I was I was obsessed with it all the way <laughs> as a as a youngster you know I used to write in my school diary um, how many days but like once the cricket season finished did the countdown to the days when the cricket season would start again that sort of thing and, and um, you know I was by then I, like when I was sort of getting to the stage of finishing school and trying to make make career decisions um you know i've been playing in state junior teams and and that sort of stuff so um not that back in the 90s you know you, you were never going to make a living or a career as a as a as a female cricketer but um I, I guess i never you know it certainly wasn't a possibility back then but it was always something that i wanted to do and um i, I was you know i did eventually play a handful of games um for australia in did the, you yeah yeah. I, I didn't Google, I should have Googled you before I started this conversation. I wouldn't have acted so surprised. That's fantastic. Oh, no, that's all right. No, so that's uh, when I said, when I said I played, I think before we started, or before we officially yeah. started the uh, conversation, we were talking about how seeing those crowds at um, women's sporting events, you know, yeah. made, me, made me quite emotional. And I said, watching the Australian women play over there, play over there now in front of full, full crowds at Lords, like I, I was lucky. I went on an Ashes tour to England in 2001, and um, we played. We played at Lords. I was 12th or 13th that day, so I had a massive lunch and carried the drinks. But we we were playing. You know, we played at Lords. We played at Headingley, but we played in front of about 25 people, and they were all friends and family of the players. Like I don't think there were certainly no paying members of the public. But do you not think though that those theatres of sport doesn't matter who's standing there? The fact that you walked onto those hallowed turfs. It's like oh. walking on, you know, is it yeah. MCG, the Wacker, where, wherever it is. If you get the opportunity to go into these places, in your own mind, it's full. Oh, you, you, yeah. You, oh. I tell you what, I've I've played, been lucky enough to play a couple of games at the MCG again in front of about twenty-five people. Um, but to stand in the middle of that field and look all around you, you know, a ground that holds a hundred thousand people, and just imagine what it must be like 